And then when they advertise the latest car, the latest model, the latest car they brought out, they'll put feel the passion. Uh, so the people are thinking passion is the goal, this is happiness. The people don't understand the nature of the mode of passion. Mm. The mode of passion is something which is temporary, has a beginning and an end. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna tells us that sense gratification is Yehi samsparsha jaboga dukha yonaya id evate adi antavanta kontiya na teshu ramate buddha Lord Krishna is saying intelligent people do not take part in the sources of misery which is due to the contact of the material senses such pleasures have a beginning and an end. A wise person will not delight in these things. We don't want temporary happiness, we want eternal happiness. We are all looking for the ultimate happiness, which is eternal. But we are trying to find it through the mode of passion. We are thinking passion is enjoyment. We want to enjoy, we are thinking enjoyment comes from the senses. And of course, number one enjoyer, the tongue. The tongue likes to taste something. It should be very strong tasting. So people eat all kinds of things. They eat all kinds of different animal foods and seafood. And they will take very pungent and smelly things like onion and garlic. So this smell has to be very strong. So it has to be very strong. It has to be very strong. They're thinking this is enjoyment. Yeah, the, 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 the pleasure is simply there in the taste. But there's no real benefit from that. There's just some that temporary sensation, some temporary feeling which comes to the tongue. And people eat, they will eat just simply for that, for the pleasure of the tongue. And when it comes to the eyes, then the eyes also want to enjoy. So people come to places like Hong Kong and they go to movies and they will watch cinemas. They like to watch movies, they like to see action. This is pleasing to the eyes. And then sounds are a big thing 
We know the music industry is a very big business in the world today. 接着是声音，我们都知道呢，就是音乐，音乐行业呢，是当今特别的赚钱。And it's all different, all different kinds of music for all different kinds of people. 就有各种各样的流行音乐，各式各样的流行音乐。Some people like classical music. 有人喜欢古典音乐 ，and some people like country music。有的人喜欢乡村音乐 ，and some people like the what is, what we call it rock or。有人喜欢呃摇滚音乐。嗯、uh, mm. ，so there there's all different。Thai、Gorni Thai。So there are all different kinds of music to satisfy the taste buds of different people。对吧？所以就有不同类型的音乐，满足不同的人的口味品味。There's music to put you to sleep, and there's music to wake you up. 嗯，还有催眠的音乐，还有让人醒来的音乐。And there's a lot of passionate music as well. Passion music, which will make you feel very active. 还有特别激情的音乐，让人感到就是让人是充满着活力。So people are very much attracted to this action. They want life. They think this is enjoyment. 人们呢就喜欢，就是特别活跃、特别的动感的。他们觉得这就是生命。But they don't understand that certain actions are going to bring reactions. 他们不明白的是，有一些活动会带来反应。From the Bhagavad Gita, we learn that there's there's karma, there is vikarma, and there is akarma. There are three different levels of action. 佛教梵歌中说到有三三种层面的活动 ：karma, vikarma, 和 akarma. So karmic activities are acts which are performed according to the Vedic regulation. 果报活动叫卡卡，果报活动呢是根据韦达的训示而从事的活动。People will do activities which are,、uh, for example, karmic act. A karmic activity is going to temple, performing some yagya, some sacrifice. 呃，这功利性活动之一呢，就是去庙里去举行一些祭祀。And then some people will read also some scripture. Oh, 还有人会读经典。Just like yesterday, we had also ecstasy. So some people may observe ecstasy simply for some material benefit. 昨天是 ecstasy， 有的人呢是出于想要获得一些好处来遵守 ecstasy. And some people will also chant Hare Krishna just for some material benefit. 有的人呢唱诵 Hare Krishna 是为了获得物质的好处。So that is karmic activity. 这就叫做功利性活动 They simply want to get some result for their own material benefit. 他们就想要为自己的好处得得到一些物质的好处 And then there is vikarmic activities. This means acts which are against the scriptures. 还有 vikarm vikarm 嗯，就是呃，违背宗伟达训谕的活动 If you do things like in, in take intoxication or gamble and illicit connection with the other sex and eating animal flesh, these are all vikarmic activities. 就包括酗酒，呃，嗯，服麻醉品和异性有非法的关系和肉食，都属于呃违训违训业报。And by When you engage in these activities, then we suffer. We get heavy reactions upon us. 谁从事这些活动，必将会受到招致业报反应。So you, if you perform karmic activities, you get benefit. You get good results. 从事如果从事的是就是 karm 就是功利性。业报，那就会得到善果，就是遵守伟大训的业报会得到善果。But if you perform sinful activities, 
then you suffer. You get punishments. Tangren from his evil, then there will be punishment. And then there's another kind of action which is called akarma, which means there's no reactions. The third kind is called akarma. Akarma is no, no any evil action. So karmic activities, whether they're according to the scriptures or against the scripture, they will keep you in the material world. So, the action of evil. 就是无论是做的好的活动还是嗯不好的活动，都让人留在物质世界。But our karmic activities can take you out of the material world. 但是 our our karma 这类的活动呢，让人摆脱物质世界。So our karmic activities to do activities in the mood of devotion. 所以 our our karma 的活动呢，是让人在奉爱的情情怀当中从事的活动。Particularly important is to hear and to chant. 嗯，首当其冲的是聆听、唱诵。So some people they may be hearing and chanting, but they may be doing it for material benefit. 嗯，有些人呢，他们表面上也在聆听、唱诵，但是是为了物质的好益、好处。But one who is doing bhakti yoga, they will do, be doing hearing and chanting. Simply for the pleasure of Krishna. 但是，一位嗯，在从事着 bhakti yoga 奉爱瑜伽的呢，他只是为了 Krishna 的快乐而去做的。That they want to engage themselves in the service of Krishna. 他们想要为 Krishna 做服务。So that brings no reactions. No reactions means all the karma is taken away. 这就意味着没有任何的报应，因为认为嗯，就那因为一切的报应。We just simply take shelter of Krishna. 嗯，一个人他只是脱离于 Krishna. So if you come to that platform of akarma, that that is a desirable position for a devotee. 倘若一个人从事的是 akarma 的活动，那是一个奉献者想要达到的地位。But more, we're we're all born on this earth planet. And this earth planet is situated in the middle of the universe. We are all in this earth. We are all in this earth. We are There are 14 different levels of planets in, in this universe. In this earth, there are 14 planets. And the earth is number 7 from the top. The earth is from the top. So it's, it's in the middle. 地球就是在中等区域。The planets in the upper portion of the universe, they're in the mode of goodness, and the planets in the bottom are in the mode of ignorance. 在地球上面的星系是在善良形态当中的星系，在地球下面呢是处于愚昧形态的。So we are in the mode of passion. 我们就在。Right in the middle of the universe, it's a more, it's a passionate situation in the universe. 我们就在宇宙的中间，就是正正好是在激情属性当中。And then again, we have life. We're living in cities. Most of us are living in a city, which is also a place of passion. 我们大多数人呢，都是。在都市的生活当中，而都市生活就是激情属性的生活。You live in the countryside; it's a mode of goodness. 嗯，在乡村的生活是善良属性的生活。And you live in the bar or the casino; that's a mode of ignorance. 呃，如果是在嗯酒吧或者 casino 这样地方是赌场，赌场。在酒吧和赌场是愚昧属性的。So we are living in the city. There's a lot of passion here. 啊，我们住住在城市，那城市呢就充斥着激情属性。We just have to walk out the door any morning about nine o'clock in the morning when everyone's going to work, and you can feel the passion. 啊，如果我们九点钟走出门，你一下就置身于激情属性了。
people rushing everywhere. Got to go, get to work. 人们就是匆匆地来去匆匆地忙着上班 So the, the mode of passion, from the mode of passion we're meant to, we're meant to elevate ourselves to the mode of goodness 我们理应该是把自己从激情属性提升到善良属性 Passion degrades us 激情会让我们堕落 And if, if from the mode of passion, if we fall into the mode of ignorance then it's very inauspicious, very unfortunate. But if we can elevate ourselves from the mode of passion to the mode of goodness, then that will benefit us. Once we're established in the mode of goodness, then it becomes easier to transcend the material energy. But if we, if we fall into the mode of ignorance, then it's a long way up to get to the transcendental level. Devotional service begins on the transcendental platform. We have to realize we're not the body. People are very much in the bodily consciousness of life. And in the body consciousness of life, they're very much passionate. They're very strong desires to satisfy their senses. So the mode of passion incites people, and people are, become very active, their desires become very strong. And we see how people are fond of passionate food, and they dress also in a passionate way, and they drive their cars in a passionate manner. So the mode of passion is people are thinking this is exciting, this is enjoyment. But when the car crashes because they're driving so passionately, when they crash and hits, then they don't feel so happy anymore. And similarly, people who eat a lot of passionate food, very hot, spicy food, they suffer a lot of intestinal problems. Yeah, they get gastric problems. They're not able to properly digest the food. And people who dress passionately, then they will attract other passionate people. A young lady was walking in the street just outside yesterday. I saw her with, she had bright red hair. So, it, and then, you know, she had a thing sticking off of, off of, she had things stuck on, into her body hanging from different parts of her face. She had some decorations, some ornaments hanging off of her, off the, the ear, and then the lip, also something was hanging off the lip. 
，然后这个女子呢，还那个把那个亮亮的饰片呢，就挂在她的眼皮上，还有嘴嘴唇上面。Mm, very passionate way of、uh, presenting yourself and dressing. Hmm. He just like that, just, uh, put himself out to people in a very passionate, just, passionate way. So you can understand a person's nature by how they are dressed, by the by the the type of clothing which they wear. So we, 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 We can understand what more about a person's nature by when you see them get behind the wheel when they start driving the car. Um, 当一个人他在把自己搁在那个方向盘后面开车，我们就知道他什么属性。People reveal their passionate nature by their behavior. 人们。他通过他们激情的行行为举止，就暴露了他们的激情属性。But the mode of passion often allows people to fall down to the mode of ignorance. 然而，嗯，就是这个激情属性呢，就使一使得一个人他允许自己堕落到愚昧属性。From because of their passionate nature, they will eat passionate food and then they will want to drink. 因为他们的激情属性，他们就想吃激情的食物，之后他们就想喝点小酒。They want to take alcohol. They want to burn all their intestines up. 他们想要喝酒，他们想用酒精来灼烧他们的这个肠胃。And it's very common for people to drink a lot of alcohol after they eat meat. 当日，嗯。人谁要是吃完那个肉之后呢，他就很渴望再喝一些酒。So from the mode of passion, they go deeper into the ignorance. 从激情属性，嗯，这样的人就会深深的陷入到愚昧属性了。And we see also the natural example of passion is the attraction between men and women. 我们在男女之间异性的吸引上。也可以看瞥见激情的属性。That there can be a lot of passion between in the in the relationship between the young man and the young woman. 年轻的男女，年轻的异性之间呢，他们之间就有着非常强烈的激情的吸引。And in the beginning, they're thinking they're enjoying, they're happy in each other's company. 一开始呢，他们以为这就是享受，他们彼此陪伴就很快愉悦。But after a short time, then the, somehow the relationship changes, and they start to argue with each other. 逐渐的呢，他们的关系就改变了，彼此开始发生争吵。And they fight with each other. A lot of passion is aroused. 之后呢，他们还会动手脚，然后他们就就非常的激情，强烈的情感。And, and then they can end up hating each other. In the beginning, they were thinking they're in love. 一开始呢，他们还以为自己在恋爱。爱 But they end up hating each other. 结果最终呢，他们却彼此的憎恶。So we see how passion works. The, that passion can give us so much trouble. 所以我们可以看中，看出激情属性是怎么运作的，给我们带来什么样的麻烦。Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, you see Arjuna asking a question to Lord Krishna: that why do we do sinful activities, even unwilling, as if engaged by force? In the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna asks Lord Krishna: that why do we do sinful activities, even unwilling, as if engaged by force? In the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna asks Lord Krishna: that why do we do sinful activities, even unwilling, as if engaged by force? In the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna asks Lord Krishna: that why do we do sinful activities, even unwilling, as if engaged by force? That it is lust only, Arjuna, which is born of contact of the mode of passion. Krishna 回答说，而朱那呀，只是由于色欲，色欲是因为与激情形态的接触而产生的。So the lust comes from the mode of passion. 色，嗯，色欲就是来来源于激情。And that lust. Is later transformed into wrath or anger. 
这种色欲随后又转转化为嗯，愤怒。So lust is the initial stage. The lust is that desire to enjoy. 所以色欲是最嗯最初的阶段。就是引源于享乐的愿望。And it comes from this mode of passion. Passion causes this lust, this agitation of the mind and senses to enjoy. 就是，它就源于这个色欲，源于想要享乐的愿望。And it, the nature of that lust is then described in the Bhagavad Gita. 不加凡哥描述了这种色欲的本质。Lord Krishna said, "This lust burns like fire and is never satisfied." Krishna 描述说，色欲如烈呃如如烈火般熊熊燃烧，永无厌足。Just like if you are having a fire, you make it building a fire. So if you put more fuel onto the fire. The fire will not go out. The fire will increase. 就好像呢，我们在点一堆火，倘若火上浇油的话，那这火焰永远不会熄灭，它反而会越燃烧越演越越烈越烈。If you want to put the fire out, you have to put water onto the fire. 倘若要熄灭熊熊烈焰呢，就要嗯火就要把那个水浇在火焰上。So some people are often People are often in ignorance that they think that if they will satisfy their desires, then that that will be the end of it. They won't desire any more. 有些人愚昧的以为，他们要是要想熄灭自己的愿愿望呢，就首先去满足它。But it doesn't work like that. Rather, the more you Try to enjoy the more sense gratification you have, the more you want. 但是它却不是这样形式的。一个人越是去满足感官，那感官的愿望也越强烈。Just like sometimes when you're eating, you want to eat more, and then you enjoy it, and you want to eat more. 就好像当人吃东西的时候呢，他就。他吃的越多，结果他的胃口还越越来，呃，胃口大开。Or similarly, when you sleep, you you have a good sleep, you want to sleep more. 嗯，同同样，当一个人睡觉的时候，他越睡越想睡。So the nature of the senses, because of the lust, they're never satisfied. 感官的本质就是由于色欲，它是永无厌足的。And the covering of lust, which is there, is described in the Bhagavad Gita in different ways. Buddha Fan Ge 描述色色欲的这种覆盖，它是有不同的层面。Lord Krishna describes. He said, just like dust covers a mirror. Krishna 形容说，就如镜风尘土，尘土封镜。So that's the, the most. The the most subtle form of lust. This is the most subtle form of lust. You have dust on the mirror. You can clean off the dust, and you can see the actual reflection in the mirror. If the mirror has dust on it, all you need to do is to clean off the dust, and you can see the actual reflection in the mirror. So, human life is like that. The covering of lust. Is like the dust on the mirror. 人体生命就好像是尘土封镜。Then another example is given, just like uh, smoke covers a fire. 啊，第二第二种呢是嗯，浓烟蔽火。Smoke covering a fire in the big. In the beginning, when you're making a fire, you get smoke. You won't get much heat. You won't get many flames. You get smoke. 在点火点点点火的之初呢
，一个人他得就一开始呢，火焰并不强烈，热度也不强烈，反而是浓烟冒出来。So the degree of covering of lust is slight. Once the fire comes to the flames, then there will be no more smoke. 这时候的嗯嗯，色欲激情的属性还不那么强烈。当它燃烧之后呢，它就嗯就逐渐淡化了。And then the third example is like the embryo as it's covered by the womb. 第三种类型呢，就好像嗯子宫包裹在胎胎儿包裹在子宫里。So the embryo is in a helpless condition, cannot move. 这种胎儿呢是非常无助的，它没法动弹。We see different coverings of lust being described, just like living entities are placed into the body of a tree. So that is like the embryo in the womb. 所以我们就看到在树的这种形态当中，就好像就是胎儿被子宫包裹的状态。So the tree, the trees are there. The trees are very low level of consciousness. The trees are also souls, but they're in that tree body. They cannot move. They cannot express themselves. 树的知觉层面是非常低的，他们不能移动，他们无法嗯表达他们自己。And we see also the animals. Different living animals, like the dogs, and pigs, and so on, they're another kind of level of lust. They're like the, uh, they're like the, the dust on the mirror. 嗯，还有狗、猪啊，这种生命形态，它们是另外一种，就是色欲的层面，就好像是尘土在镜子上面。And then you have the The humans, which is like the smoke covering the fire. Uh, 人人类呢 ？The human is like smoke covering the fire. Yeah. Oh, 人人类的心就好像是浓烟蔽火。So different degrees of lust, and th this lust is what causes the living entity to perform these sinful activities. 其实不同的色欲的层面，是由于人由于色欲呢，导致人们从事罪恶的活动。It's coming from the mode of passion. 它是源于激情属性。The more we are attracted to the mode of passion, the more we are influenced by lusty activities. 我们越受激情属性吸引，就会越是从事色欲的活动。And the more we have lusty activities. Then the more prone we are to become angry or greedy. 我们越是从事色欲的活动，我们越会愤怒。Because lust, you have the desire to get things. You get them, you want more. 因为色欲，一个人就有强烈的欲望，想要获得某件事物。获得之后，他就想要更多的。One man here, young man I met here in Hong Kong some years ago. He told me he just made one million dollars. 嗯，然后马尔在嗯香港呢，几年前遇见了一个年轻人，就告诉他我赚了一百万。And he was saying, "Why after I made one million, I was then anxious to make another million." 我赚了一百万之后呢，我想再赚一百万。He wasn't thinking. Now I've got a million. I'm. I'm just. I'm happy. I'm going to retire. I'm going to. I was thinking. I want to make more money. He didn't think. I'm now already made a million. I'm happy. I'm going to retire. I'm going to make more money. He didn't think. I'm now already made a million. I'm happy. I'm going to retire. I'm going to make more money. He didn't think. I'm now already made a million. I'm happy. I'm going to retire. I'm going to make more money. He didn't think. I'm now already made a million. I'm happy. I'm going to retire. I'm going to make more money. He didn't think. I'm now already made a million. I'm happy. I'm going to retire. I'm going to make more money. He didn't think. I'm now already made a million. I'm happy. I'm going to retire. I'm going to make more money. He didn't think. The business fails. 还有另外一种情况，嗯，就是当一个一个人呢，他那个生意生意非常成功，赚了很多钱，然后之后呢，他生意就是破产了。So sometimes people, when they lose everything, become angry. 所以一旦当人们失去某件事物，他们就变得愤怒。You feel cheated. You feel 
disappointed. 他们就觉得是上当受骗，很以失败以失望而告终。That you worked so hard to get something, but you couldn't succeed. 一个人这么努力的去获得某件事物，但是却没有成功。The other day, I went with another devotee, Tejas Prabhu. We went to see one couple who are doing running a vegetarian restaurant here in Hong Kong. 就是应该是前天啊，马二指和 Tejas Prabhu 又去拜访了一对呃夫妻，他们呢开了一家素餐厅。And, and they told us for seven. They said they ran. A, they had vegetarian restaurant for seven years, and all they did was lose every year. Oh, they two, then, and then they said, "Yeah, they ran a vegetarian restaurant for seven years, and all they did was lose every year." But they somehow they they didn't give up. They just kept going. But they still didn't give up. They just kept going. But they still didn't give up. Because they were running vegetarian restaurant, they were more in the mode of goodness. They were not so much passion. But people in the mode of passion, they wouldn't have that kind of determination. But people in the mode of passion, they wouldn't have that kind of determination. They would give up after a short time. They would give up after a short time. But people in the mode of goodness, they will have that stronger determination to go on. But in the mode of goodness, people in the mode of goodness, they will have that stronger determination to go on. But in the mode of goodness, people in the mode of goodness, they will have that stronger determination to go on. But in the mode of goodness, people in the mode of goodness, they will have that stronger determination to go on. But in the mode of goodness, people in the mode of goodness, they will have that stronger determination to go on. But in the mode of goodness, people in the mode of goodness, they will have that stronger determination to go on. But in the mode of goodness, people in the mode of goodness, they will have that stronger determination to go on. But in the mode of goodness, people in the mode of goodness, they will have that stronger determination to go on. But in the mode of goodness, people in the mode of So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so so upset that she'd lost her eggs. She vowed, "I'm going to drink the ocean dry," and she began to drink the ocean. This little bird, because it lost its eggs, it was so upset that it was so upset that it And all the other, uh, all the other creatures in the sea and the birds and so on, they were all laughing. At the little sparrow, how can you drink the ocean dry? You're just a little bird. 其他的海族生物和其他的鸟类同伴呢，都开始嘲笑他，说你怎么可能把大海吸干呢？ But the little bird was determined. No, I'm going to get my eggs back. But this little bird was very determined. No, I'm going to get my eggs back. So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so upset that she lost her eggs. So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so upset that she lost her eggs. So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so upset that she lost her eggs. So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so upset that she lost her eggs. So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so upset that she lost her eggs. So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so upset that she lost her eggs. So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so upset that she lost her eggs. So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so upset that she lost her eggs. So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so upset that she lost her eggs. So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so upset that she lost her eggs. So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so upset that she lost her eggs. So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so upset that she lost her eggs. So when the sparrow lost its eggs, it was so upset that she lost her eggs. So when the 呃，传到了 Garuda 的耳朵里的时候 ，Garuda 就来了。And Garuda is the king of birds, so he spoke to the king of the the the, the ocean. He told the ocean, "You give this little bird her eggs back, or else I will drink you dry." 嗯、呃，鸟王 Garuda 呢，就对这个海洋的国王说道：“你把嗯这只雀鸟的蛋还给他，不然的话，我就会把你的海水吸干。” So hearing Garuda and seeing the power of Garuda, then the ocean was, un, the ocean became submissive, and immediately brought the eggs and gave them back to the little bird. You 看到鸟王，然后看到鸟王的这个决心呢，这个大海呢就把这个蛋呢还给了这只小雀鸟。So this shows the the benefit of coming up to the mode of goodness to have that fixed. Strong determination. This is showing the benefit of the mode of goodness. One person has this strong, firm determination. But people who are in the mode of passion, they won't have that kind of strong determination. But people who are in the mode of passion, they won't have that kind of strong determination. They will try for a little while, then they'll give up. They'll say, "Oh, it was impossible." 
但是激情属性的人呢，他们就没有这种强烈的、坚定的决心。他们尝试一段时间之后就会放弃。The more the passion, people were thinking about their own name and fame. They want results. They're very attached to results. 激情属性的人特别依依附于自己的名声，他们依依附结果。People in the mode of goodness are more equipoised and peaceful. 在善良属性的人，他们更加平和，保持内心的平静。They will work, but they're not so much work, working just for their own sense gratification. They're working for the pleasure of the supreme. 他们也工作，他们不是为了自己的感官享乐工作，他们为了至尊主而工作。But And、influenced by passion, people want to see their own name glorified. 但是，嗯，有人被激情所驱动，想要看到自己的名声得到传扬。So passion, there will be a beginning and there will be a quick end. 所以在激情属性当中有一个，嗯。有开始，但是很快就结束了。Krishna, Lord Krishna describes in Bhagavad Gita different kinds of happiness. 圣主 Krishna 在《薄伽梵歌》中描述了不同种类的快乐。The happiness in the mode of goodness that will be happiness which is lasting, which is which is always there. 在善良属性当中，快乐呢，它是持久的，它总在那里。But happiness in the mode of passion, in the beginning, will be like nectar, and quickly will become poison. 激情属性的快乐呢，一开始像甘露，结果却像毒药。Happiness in the mode of goodness, in the beginning, it's bitter. It's not very pleasant. But gradually, it becomes relishable. 在善良属性的快乐呢，一开始是苦涩的，但渐渐的呢，它就变得津津有味了。And happiness in the mode of ignorance is suffering from beginning to end. 愚昧属性的快乐呢，一开始就是痛苦，结果还是痛苦。So we're trying to encourage people. To come out of the passionate nature and come up to the mode of goodness. We encourage people to get out of the passionate nature and come up to the mode of goodness. Don't be bewildered. Don't be tricked into thinking passion is the enjoyment. Don't be deceived. 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 Don't be Just like a coin, there are two sides to the coin. 就好像一枚硬币，它有两面。So, with the one side there's happiness, other side is distress. They come together. 硬币的一面呢是嗯享受，但是反面呢就是嗯痛苦，所以他们是。The more you get happiness, the more you can expect to suffer distress. 嗯嗯，你得到的享乐越多呢，你就可以指望着、期待着，你的苦恼、烦恼也越多。We have to understand there is happiness within. We have to look within. 我们要明白呢，有内在的快乐，我们应该寻找。We're not going to get happiness just simply from this external, from this material world. We cannot expect to get happiness from this external, from this material world. We cannot expect to get happiness from this external, from this material world. We cannot expect to get happiness from this external, from this material world. We cannot expect to get happiness from this external, from this material world. We cannot expect to get happiness from this external, from this material world. We cannot expect to get happiness from this external, from this material world. We cannot expect to get happiness from this external, from this material world. We cannot expect to get happiness from this external, from this material world. We cannot expect to get happiness from this external, from this material world. We cannot expect to get happiness from this external, from this material world. We cannot expect to get happiness from this external, from this material world. We cannot expect to get happiness from this external, from this material world. We cannot expect to get happiness from this external, from this material world. We give the example about the musk deer, which lives in the Himalayas. We can give the example about the musk deer, which lives in the Himalayas. We can give the example about the musk deer, which lives in the Himalayas. We can give the example about 
So this deer has musk, very powerful natural musk, which is growing within the body of the deer. So the deer is always the, the, the animal is always wondering where where is that smell coming from? It can smell this very powerful, very attractive aroma of the musk. And it's thinking, where, where is that smell coming from? So actually this smell is coming from within, but the deer cannot understand how the aroma is actually within itself. 事实上呢，这个香味就来自于它自己本身的腺体，但是它却并不知道这个香味的出处。In a similar way, we are all looking for happiness, and we're thinking, "Well, happiness is here. Happiness is the new car. Happiness is the new wife. Happiness is the new house." We're we're trying to find happiness in so many ways. 但是我们却从外在寻找快乐，我们想，嗯，快乐在一个新车，快乐出自于一个新的妻子、新的媳妇儿、老婆，快乐出自一个一栋新的房子。But the real happiness is not found from all of these things. The real happiness is found within. 但是真正的真实的快乐。so the question you will ask me is, how do we look within? Our eyes are only made for looking around us, outside of us. Just think if you were in an elephant's body. The elephants, they cannot see behind them. The elephants can only see in front. Lord Krishna had to fight a big elephant when he went to Mathura. But Lord Krishna knew how to trick the elephant. He went behind the elephant. And this way he tricked the elephant. The elephant could never find where is Krishna. So we have eyes. Our eyes are for looking around us. But we have to look within. We have to look within with the eye of knowledge. 同样的呢，我们的眼睛呢，就是可长的，就只能看四周。但是我们必须要向内看，怎么向内看呢？就是以知识的眼睛。The eye of knowledge that can help that will allow us to actually contemplate to see the real soul, the self which is there within this body. 以知识的眼睛，以知识的慧眼，就我们以知识的慧眼去。and those people who have realized, who have come to understand the self as the soul, that they're completely satisfied. They have no desire. They're not anxious for wealth or fame or followers. What do they want? They simply want knowledge. They want to increase that knowledge more and more. And what is that goal of knowledge? Where does knowledge end? 
那知识的目标是什么呢？知识的终点是什么 ？It ends in surrender to Krishna. 知识的终点就是向 Krishna 臣服。Bahunam Janmanamante Gyanavam Mam Prapajante Vasudeva Sarvamiti Samahatma Sudurlabha. After many births, then one who is actually in knowledge, he will surrender to Krishna. 经过生许多世的投生，一个真正处在知识的人，他会向 Krishna 臣服。But such a soul is very rare. 这样的伟大灵魂是非常罕见的。We are trying to become rare souls. 我们都在努力的成为罕见的灵魂。So by this path of knowledge, then we could come to. We could come to that sort of position, but it takes a long time. You 这条知识的途径，我们能达到这样的地位，但是需要很花很长的时间。And we have a short life. We don't live very long in Kali Yuga. 但是在卡利年代呢，人类的寿命很短暂。So what is the alternative? Jai Gornitai Ki. The alternative is that we should take up devotional service. 那有有什么别的好办法呢？这个其中的一个这个好办法就是我们要开始做奉爱服务。Anyone who takes up devotional service, then they immediately come to the transcendental platform. 一个从事奉献服务的人，立刻就来到超然的层面。They overcome all the material energy. 他们可以。So Lord Krishna is guiding us in the Bhagavad Gita to surrender to Him. Lord Krishna 就通过薄伽梵歌在指导我们如何去臣服他。He's saying, if you surrender to me, then you can overcome all of this material energy. Krishna 说，嗯，臣服我的人就可以。But if you don't, if we don't surrender, then we're left under the influence of the modes of nature. 倘若不臣服 Krishna， 那就只能留在物质自然属性的控制之下了。And you can see the, how the material nature is carried. For example, Lord Shiva, he has a trident, and he will pierce people with that trident. 那么，主希望呢？他有一个三叉戟，他就用这三叉戟来去，嗯，去攻击那些处在物质自然属性当中的人。So not only is、uh, Lord Shiva got the trident, but there, everyone in his family has that trident. His family means his wife, Mother Durga, she also carries a trident. 不仅主希望有三叉戟，同样的，他的妻子多尔干母亲也手持着三叉戟。Lord Ganesh, he's also carrying the trident. 还有象鼻神，还有 Ganesh， 他也拿着三三叉戟。And Kartikeya, the great general, he also may have trident. 还有伟大的将领 Kartikeya， 他也有三叉戟。So, like this, they use the trident, they pierce us with the miseries, the material miseries, the sufferings. They use this trident to pierce us with the miseries, the sufferings. They use this trident to pierce us with the material miseries, the sufferings. They use this trident to pierce us with the material miseries, the sufferings. They use this trident to pierce us with the material miseries, the sufferings. They use this trident to pierce us with And then you have miseries inflicted by other living entities, what is called adibotic. And then there are miseries inflicted by other living entities, what is called adibotic. And then there are miseries, just simply,、um, the miseries which are given by the material nature, the miseries of the body and mind. 还有来自于物质的躯物质的感嗯躯体和心意的痛苦。Adi atmic， 叫 Adi atmic。So you have the three different kinds of miseries for all the conditioned souls。所有受条件限制灵魂呢，都受制于这三种痛苦
But if you engage in devotional service, then you come to the level of Brahman. You don't get stuck just teaching one person somewhere up the mountain. Of course, we try to get people to come, help us to overcome, to fight Maya, come and join us, fight Maya. But people will say, Oh, I'll come later. I'm busy now. I have other things to do. Let me come later. They'll say, Next life. Next life, I will surrender. So the problem is. We don't know where the next life will be. You don't know if you have the opportunity in the next life. You don't know if you get the human body again. You may come in Hong Kong, you may be one of those fish in the sea there. We see every morning so many people fishing there, trying to catch the fish. You might be an unlucky fish, you get caught on the hook. So People pass their days like that, they have no goal in life. They think the goal of life to fish. Uh, One lady comes to our temple, she was telling me, she said, My husband, Pat, I, I asked her, Is your husband favorable about Krishna consciousness? She said, Well, he passes all his time, spare time, in fishing. So when he's fishing, he's happy. And then I I'm free, I can come to temple. Oh, <laughs> so the husband's getting his karma. And the wife is trying to get free of karma. By trying to take up devotional service. Okay, any questions? Yes, you have a question? Yes? Uh, 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 we just heard that the story of Sparrow. Uh, so, uh, story of who? Sparrow. Sparrow. Oh, yeah. So in that story, I want to ask that uh, uh, spell was in a mode in a goodness or is a mode of passion. The sparrow was in a mode of goodness or mode of uh, passion. The part of the question is, just like we just talked about this little bird, the sea and the ocean. So this little bird is in which mode of goodness or mode of passion? In which mode of passion? Well, determination of the sparrow was the mode of goodness. Because he did not give up. Continued to endeavor, although it was going to be very difficult. The sparrow was very fixed and determined and focused on what it wanted to do. Hmm. 
So the path, the, 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 the sparrow was simp was not thinking so much of himself. He was thinking of the, the eggs and the chickens in the egg. He wanted to deliver them. Mm. If the sparrow had been thinking just about his own name and fame, then that's a mode of passion. But he was thinking about others. So therefore that's a mode of goodness. Any other question? Mm, yes. <laughs> sometimes we don't know whether what mood or mode we are in. Sometimes we are doing devotional service. Well, if you read the third canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, chapter number 28, I think it is, you'll read about the modes of devotional service and the modes of nature. If you devote, if you do devotional service in a lazy, dirty mood, that's a mode of ignorance. And if you do devotional service with a desire for name and fame, that's the mode of passion. And if you do devotional service just simply to destroy bad karma, from the past and sinful reactions, that is the mode of goodness. But if you do devotional service simply for the pleasure of Lord Krishna, then that is pure devotion. We want to come to pure devotional service. Devotional service in the mode of goodness is not the goal, but it's on the way to coming to the goal. But we want to ultimately come to that level where we just simply doing service for the pleasure of Lord Krishna. Mm. Yeah, devotional service can you may be the pujari, but you may be in the mode of ignorance. And you may be leading the kirtan, but you just want to get recognition. But the pure devotee, they just want to please Krishna. Mm. Yes. Any other question? Mm. So are you in the mode of goodness, passion or ignorance? Mm. Are you pure devotee?
What about to please Guru? Well, please Guru, follow the instructions. Right. Guru is telling you chant Hare Krishna. Guru is telling you read the books about Krishna and worship Krishna. Guru Hare Krishna. Guru is telling you work for Krishna. Guru Krishna Please the Guru when you follow the instructions. You have to have faith in the in, in the, the, the Guru and in Krishna. Mm -hmm. So do you have more faith in Guru or more faith in Krishna? Who has more faith in Krishna? You? You? Who has more faith in Guru? Both wrong. They're all wrong. Supposed to have equal faith. E equal faith in Guru and Krishna. Yes, any other questions? How to apply the knowledge of these three modes of material nature in the, our practical life? Well, we have to be able to recognize these modes of material nature. We have to recognize when you're being influenced by the mode of passion and ignorance. Hmm. When you get angry, and start screaming and shouting. So this is the mode of passion and ignorance. You have to understand why why we're becoming like this. Hmm. So the anger is coming from the lust. Because our material desires have not been satisfied. So because, of, because our desires were not satisfied, we become angry and we release that anger by shouting and screaming. So we have to learn when when these things happen, then we should understand how much we're being influenced by the mode of passion and ignorance. So how to overcome it? 
那又如何来克服呢 ？You have to chant the holy name. 那就你就你要唱诵圣名。You have to read Prabhupada's books. 你要阅读 Prabhupada 的书籍。You have to hear the teachings of Lord Chaitanya. 你需要去聆听主柴达念的教导。It's important for us to be able to know how to protect ourselves from the material energy. 很重要的一点就是知道该怎么保护自己，保护自己摆脱不受物质自然属性的影响。We have to hold on to Krishna. 我们就要紧紧的抓住 Krishna. You have to chant loudly. 呃，大声的、高声的唱诵。Krishna, save me, help me. Krishna, 救命啊，帮帮我吧。So, Krishna will hear if you chant. So, if you do this, you will hear from Krishna. So, we have to call out to Krishna. We have to get help. We have to save ourselves from the material energy. So, we have to call out to Krishna. We have to get help. We have to save ourselves from the material energy. So, we have to call out to Krishna. We have to get help. We have to save ourselves from the material energy. It is Krishna's energy. 物质能量是在 Krishna 的控制之下，它是 Krishna 的能量。So if you if we surrender to Krishna, then He will release us from the material energy. 如果我们向 Krishna 臣服 ，Krishna 就会把我们释放出去，把我们从物质能量的控制之下释放出去。But if we, if we don't surrender to Krishna, then We're going to get problems from the material energy. 倘若不臣服 Krishna， 就会有嗯，在物质能量这方面的麻烦。We're going to get entangled in this passion and ignorance. 我们就会卷入到激情和愚昧属性。And the more we're in passion and ignorance, the more we're influenced by lust, anger, and greed. 我们越是卷入激情和愚昧，就会越嗯有嗯愤怒、色欲、贪婪的体现。So in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna tells us three gates to hell. 就 Krishna 在佛家梵歌说，通向地狱的有三道门。Lust, anger, and greed. Every sane person should avoid these things. 通向地狱的门，三道门是色欲。愤怒、贪婪，每一个智者都应该摆脱。How to avoid? Call out to Krishna, chant the holy name, worship Krishna. 怎样摆脱呢？呼喊、呼唤 Krishna， 唱诵圣名，崇拜 Krishna。Krishna will help you. Krishna 会帮助你。您 You get relief from the material energy. 您就能。从物质能量被释放出去了。Just like if it's raining, you have an umbrella, protect yourself from the rain. 就好像在雨雨天呢，你手持着一把雨伞就能不不被淋湿。So we protect ourselves by chanting the holy name. 我们是通过唱诵圣名保护自己。Krishna is like our umbrella, protects us from being touched. By the material energy, Krishna 就好像是伞，把伞就能保护我们不受物质能量的淋湿。嗯哼。Yes. Any other questions? 那还有没有别的问题？ You have a question. Yeah. Mm, just now, um, you, you mentioned about the devotional service in the mode of passion and ignorance. So, how to get rid of this uh, devotional service in the mode of passion and ignorance? 就刚才嗯，马拉雅讲到激情属性和愚昧属性的奉献服务。我的问题就是怎么摆脱这个激情和愚昧属性的奉献服务。Well, you have to bring it up to the mode of goodness, and then you have to transcend. 
，首先要把自己提升到善良、善良属性，然后再嗯超超越善良属性。You have to cultivate spiritual knowledge. 要培养灵性的知识。So association very important. In good association, you can get guidance what to, what you should be doing. 联谊特别重要。呃，在好的联谊中呢，就可以得到指引，就该做什么，不该做什么。嗯。Okay, Hare Krishna, Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Go back to Vrinda Ki. Good Premanandi. Thank you.